wanted to play guitar because it sounded super cool and it looked cool and it looked like it was going to be super fun to learn. I want more like people who don't necessarily listen to rock to also play guitar. Hey, it's Melanie Fay, and we're checking out the player series Stratocaster. Nah, no, nah, I can't say this. <laughs> I've experimented with a lot of guitars, but I think Fenders are really, I think they're geared towards people like me who want versatility and they want something that's really, really comfortable. Like the design of the Stratocaster is like, it's got like the contour over here and it's got like hips and it's just really smooth and comfortable to play and it's just I really like simple instruments I don't like when there's too many bells and whistles and stuff I like a uh, very minimal design so that's what made me want to play it it sounds like angelic it sounds like heaven shining through I just love that R&B gospel sort of guitar playing you know I guess usually the first thing I notice about a guitar is the looks. I've actually never seen this color before, so that was really interesting to me. It's like something different. Playing wise, the pickups are like really quiet and it seems like they're reverse line, reverse polarity. And they're really bright. They really shine through. I notice like the the neck is actually satin. It's not glossed over. And um, I noticed it had Paul Ferro. This is like very, very smooth wood finish. I like when it's just super effortless to play. It feels like I'm just playing air. Advice. I think you should just be prepared that it's going to be a lot of there's gonna be a lot of ups and downs because me personally I've put like honestly literal blood literal sweat and literal tears into playing this hard but I think in the end it's all worth it you'll hit plateaus and you'll hit roadblocks and stuff but I think that's just all part of the process honestly and that's just really a part of life The Epiphone Les Paul 100 is a superb instrument for players looking for an affordable but reliable electric guitar that has the classic look, sound, and feel of a Les Paul. Cut to the same specs as Les's 1952 original, the Les Paul 100 has everything new and professional guitars look for in a quality instrument. The Les Paul 100 is all you need to get the great Les Paul sound. The all mahogany body includes a maple top, which is lighter and slimmer than full-size Les Pauls, making it easy to hold for long practices and gigs. The bolt-on mahogany neck features the Les Paul Classic scale length of 24.75 inches with a 1.68 inch nut width, rosewood fingerboard, and dot inlays. The tone of the Les Paul 100 comes from two humbucker pickups with tone and volume controls for each. It features Epiphone's all-metal hardware including a patented tunematic bridge, stop bar tailpiece, and premium die-cast machine heads. I would describe the sound of the Telecaster as classy ratchet. It can get super twangy, super gut bucket and dirty, but at the same time it can really clean up well and put on a suit and tie. Hey everybody, it's Giddy. I'm a producer, songwriter, guitar player. 
And today we're going to be checking out the Player Series Telecaster. I like to use a classic instrument that everybody knows the sound of, and I like to find my own voice in it, you know? What I really like about the Player Series is that these instruments, they really can grow with you. Anything from a beginner, getting used to it and learning how to, how to play a telly and getting familiar with the sound of a telly to a professional. The first thing that really stands out to me is um, the quality of the pickups. Some of the you know lower priced affordable guitars, um, you could really tell right away um, when you put it, especially on the bridge pickup, it seems to sound a little too bright um, and a little too unpleasant. Here, when you put it on the uh, bridge pickup, you get the twang of the telly, but it's warm. Another thing I really like about this instrument is it has a modern C-neck, um, which for me is very comfortable, and for my hands, which are not very big, um, it's a very comfortable instrument to play on. And then also, it has 22 frets, so for all of us guitar players that love playing in the key of E, now we could do a high, high E right there. So, something I'm very excited about. Fender added some subtle new features that really makes this a really solid instrument, including bent steel bridge saddles, a more traditional telly body shape, and an F-stamped neck plate. It just adds a nice touch to an already great instrument. When I think of the sound of Fender guitars, I just think of timeless, classic, immortal sound. That's why I associate with the sound of electric guitar, period. It's Fender. Everybody, this is Brian Ewald here at PRS, and what I've got with me today are the PRS SE Custom 24 and Custom 22. Uh, when most people think about PRS, the, these are the guitars that they think of. They're arguably the most iconic guitars in the PRS line, what really started it all. A uh, few updates now to 2017, uh, most notably the pickups. In 2015, Paul made a couple major strides in his pickup design discovered some new things and came out with the 8515 pickups, which sound beautiful. The, the top end particularly is really sweet, really chimey, uh, without ever being harsh. There's plenty of, of brightness in there, but you never get those harsh, uh, ice picky tones out of them, overtones. Um, there's also a little bit less in the low mid range that really kind of clears things and unmuddies things. These are the 8515S pickups that are voiced by Paul to emulate the 8515s found in the core instruments. 8515s are very coveted pickups you can only get by buying one of the PRS core guitars. Uh, so it's really nice to have these pickups in the SE line. A couple things about these guitars are the same. You've got the mahogany back maple neck with maple top. They also feature a beautiful flame maple veneer. This is a vintage sunburst. This one is a tobacco sunburst. Uh, they both have the PRS design trim. The 24 fret has a more modern aesthetic and feel with the three-way blade switch. It also has a push-pull on the tone pot so you can split the coils. Uh, the 22 fret has the three-way toggle switch and a slightly different layout uh, on the uh, volume and, and tone controls. Obviously, 24 fret, the 22 fret. Um, some people really like to have the two full octaves per string. Um, the 22 fret is a little bit more vintage inspired. These guitars feature the, the newly updated PRS SE logo, uh, which features Paul's signature and the SE tucked right there underneath of it. Uh, great looking guitars. They play and sound like a dream, just like you would expect from any PRS. Just like every other SE, all these instruments come right here to Maryland and they're unboxed and they're gone through by the PRS technicians uh, before they go out the door to the stores or go to you. Uh, so you know it's going to be set up and, and play the way a PRS should. Uh, let's go through and have a listen 
and hear what the pickups sound like um, against one another. And I'll play it mainly uh, clean so you can really hear the, the character of the pickups. This series features active EMG pickups, which have powerful ceramic magnets, which are great for increased sustain and output. These pickups are a little different than a traditional EMG pickup because they can be coil tapped, which allows you to get a wider variety of tones. The Schechter Hellraiser collection is either available in a Floyd Rose original trim or with a Tone Pros bridge system with Schecter locking tuners. Both options are really great for keeping your guitar in tune. The series features an ultra access neck joint which looks and feels like a neck through but is actually a set neck. This neck joint will allow you to effortlessly play high up on the neck. <laughs> The series features a mahogany body with a quilted or flame maple top on select models. Also has a mahogany neck with a rosewood fingerboard, has gothic cross inlays, and also features abalone binding. The Hellraiser series is available in a C1, C1FR, C7, C7FR, C8, Solo, and C1EX extended scale body style.